All right, this is video two of the Harbor Freight 100 watt four panel system. It's brand new. I got these, I believe, before they were supposed to be sold. Probably so you can see it on the first video I put out, which is the Harbor Freight 100 watt panels. Look for that video, you get more details on it. But this is what we're working on right now. It's mounting these panels right now. So let's get underway on that. These are amorphous panels. They're designed to work flat as well as at an angle. And we're currently mounting them on hat metal. If you go look at the previous video where I brought out the panels, did a hookup on them and checked them out, you'll see what I had here. That is hat metal. Now this is 18 gauge, so it's fairly stout, but we're using three pieces underneath it. All the original hardware is still on the panels. And this center support right here is just simply going to be held with some washers. And we're gonna put a little bit of this E6000 on it and just a little bit and we'll put some on the end of the threads and that prevents these roofing screws which really grab excellent in this material it prevents them from vibrating loose now we're going to use quite a bit of fasteners on this and that allows for very good support now out here on this end we've got a piece that's angled to go up like that down on each end on the windward edge same thing um, down on this end and we're using these to go down into the metal and they thread in this being 18 gauge it actually you get a good amount of threads in that so this will mount on the roof of the truck we're going to mount it with uh, fasteners along the outside and reach into the inside and put one on the insides the same way in here so you'll have these panels that will be mounted up here on the top of the truck and they will be feeding the controller the controller which is this model right here it's 10 amp you can put the solar in there you can wire it direct it does come with this um, looks like about a 12 gauge cord uh, it's a very good quality wire and we've already tried this out I got 91 watts coming through this right here using a thermodyne watt meter uh, pretty damn accurate and that was in the evening sun wasn't even the sun was like way down on the horizon so these panels are going on the roof of the truck because they're going to be charging the battery bank if you see that right there you can see it in the previous video um, they're going to be charging the battery bank that is right back here so when I park my truck we have three batteries there in a big 3000 watt inverter and they're going to charge that battery bank so when i go camping or gold mining or gold panning like i like to go do we'll always have power we won't have to sit and run the truck to top the batteries off so watch for this i'm going to fasten all these i've currently got it just held down and i'm going to fasten all these in dip every one of these screws with some of this e6000 this is very good stuff and drive them in and then that will keep the screw member vibrating loose and we won't have a problem so even if one of them did come loose it's multiple connections all right let's get that part done and we'll put it up on the roof and start the process of the charge controller not too shabby plenty of room on the top this whole setup right here is five feet roughly long and a little over three feet wide it'll fit nice you'll see all right now we've assembled all and we have them screwed down with little brackets on each end for windage and on the front leading edge we put brackets at all points uh, we brought these screws down to the rubber compressor just a little bit to allow expansion and contraction and now it's up here on the roof in the location that it will be mounted so now we just got to get our rubber underneath this and then we're using the same kind of screws with a rubber seal on it dipped in a sealant and shoot them down a few in the centers a few on the sides doubles on the ends two on each end and we'll be good and we will have 100 watts of power seven to eight amps charging continuously into the battery bank 
in this nice truck. Uh, next, we're going to get these lights hooked all up. With, we'll be doing all those with the remotes, remote control unit. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Kind of neat. All right, now we've got the controller in, the wiring ran, and going up in here would be how the wiring got ran. There's those terminals. You can see those real good there. And they come through as bulkhead fittings. So we have the panels up here on top they are secured all the way around and they are now officially installed permanently on the truck we can remove them if we have to a little bit of difficulty there is some locking adhesive on the tips of these screws so it's a little rough i've actually broke them off trying to get them out whenever i had to remove them uh, in the past and there is the two bulkheads going through the top and it does have an acrylic siliconized coating over the bolts and up inside of everything so it's so it will not corrode right there a red and a black and we are ready to go we're going to pull this thing outside and see how well everything goes all right now we're bringing the truck outside from inside the shop and we're charging heavy right now and we're above the light power voltage and this thing here has different features it has 14 1 which it's considered a disconnect it has 10 8 which is it'll turn off the light if it's connected to outside using these connectors here and 12.6 volt is where it will uh, before it will will reconnect to that light and 12 point 12.8 volts is what is in the batteries right now and this thing is charging and it is designed to charge in excess let's see if we turn that light off charge in excess of 14 one before it shuts down and i believe it might actually have an alarm not positive i think it does have an alarm of some kind if it exceeds 14.1 uh, so there we are charging nice job and the solar on the roof well lit and doing good all right guys y'all uh, got questions just ask <laughs>